hello guys welcome to the video in this video we're going to be looking at what an unhosted site is so under the comment of my of the main video on um, what webflow pricing someone asked the question related to unhosted sites which made me realize that uh, this unhosted this unhosted site um, being highlighted here uh, most people don't know what this is okay so I created this video separately, separately just to explain that. So when you create a new Webflow account by default, you're gonna be on this workspace plan, this free plan, and you have two unhosted sites. So basically what an unhosted site is, is just um, a site that you have not published yet, okay? To publish a site, you need to have add a paid site plan. Okay, so I'm just going to explain this in the most easiest way I think uh, I can possibly explain it. When you create an account, you're going to have two unhosted site space, like you see here. These two sites are not hosted. Now, if you notice something about their URL, you're going to see .webflow.io, .webflow.io. This is because they are both on the free site plan the free site plan which is a starter plan here and as you can see these are the things i get um webflow.io domain 50 cms this this so this is this any site on the starter plan is unhosted because it can only use webflow.io domain it is it cannot be accessed um, with a normal domain so unhosted just simply means you have not added a um paid site plan okay so if the moment i buy a site plan i add this let's say i add a site plan to this to this my site here it's going to be a hosted site so if it's hosted it means i'm going to free up one space here so you can you could have um 500 hosted sites like 500 sites that you've added um a paid site plan to but as long as you're on the free workspace plan you can only have two unhosted sites that's two sites that do, does not have a paid site plan so i hope that makes sense so right now i have two sites that are unhosted if i try to add a new site just to show you you're going to see webflow is going to give me a warning so let's see okay as you can see you've reached the limit of two unhosted sites on your uh starter workspace plan to create another site upgrade your workspace plan so either i upgrade my workspace plan so if I upgrade to core, I get 10 unhosted sites now. Or if I upgrade to growth, I get unlimited unhosted sites. Or what's the second option here? Add a site plan to an existing site. So the moment I add a site plan to an, any of those those two sites, I'm going to free up space for one more. So if I add site plan to both of them, I now have two free space again because of my workspace uh, workspace plan. So I hope that makes sense. I can't, as you can see, I can't even add a new site until I delete one of those. Um, so yeah, that's just how workspace plans work. Okay, that's how um, on hosted sites work. So if you don't want to, uh, if you an, a, a good way to like uh, go around this, let's say you're just starting out on Webflow and you can't afford $19 a month. Let's say you're just trying to get your portfolio up. Well, you, all you have to do is just create more accounts. So if you have three, four, five different accounts, you're going to get 10 unhosted sites. So each email you use, you're going to get to unhosted sites, to unhosted sites. So that's what I'm currently doing as well because I, I can't pay $19 a month just for uh, to get a portfolio on um, Webflow because I'm just starting out. So I'm just building as many projects as I can for practice. So I have multiple accounts on um, Webflow. So each one, I have two unhosted sites on them. So yeah, that's just basically what unhosted uh, sites are. If you have any questions, anything you'd like to understand on the pricing, do not hesitate to ask on the comment section. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one.